Today, we're baking dash cams. Today, we're baking dash cams? We like a car show. Today, we're baking dash cams. Hey guys, it's Joseph from Lockbox My Car. Today, we're bringing back something special, something we haven't done for a long time, and I know you guys have been asking for us to bring these videos back. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Today, we're baking dash cams. For you channel veterans out there, you'll remember this isn't our first Beat the Heat live test for dash cams. We started this three years ago where we put a few different dash cams to the test, like the VO4 A129 Pro, Thinkware U1000, and the Blackview DR750S versus the Blackview DR750X two-channel LTE, just to find out whether or not they can still operate smoothly at the peak of their operating temperature. And here's how we did it before. We put those dash cams into a fish tank, drilled a hole into the table, connected a tube into it, and then blasted hot air into it through a heat gun. Then we let the camera soak in the heat and then noted down what temperatures they shut down at and if there was any long lasting damage. Still, to be honest, it definitely was not the safest thing I've ever done. I actually burned myself a couple of times, funny enough, and even melted the heat gun itself. Like, how do you melt a heat gun? I have to say though, among all the tests we've done, the Thinkware U1000 is still my favorite. Cause at the time we turn up the heat so much that the other sample model melted right off of the mount while the U1000 still stuck well to the tank. We also got some feedback from you guys offering some suggestions on either, you know, we're doing it wrong or suggestions on how to make it better. Let's be honest, you guys are probably right. To that, I'm not. So since that video, the record heat wave has definitely gotten worse and we've gotten plenty of feedback and questions from our daily drivers down south in places like Arizona and Florida still rocking the U1000 standing strong against this heat. But today we're gonna to be putting up a new contender to the test, the Thinkware U3000. Now, before we start our test today, we're gonna to show you all the equipment we're gonna be using today. I'm gonna to be taking a break from using that heat tank and that heat gun, and instead, we've upgraded to this. So guys, say hello to the Black Box My Car toaster. This toaster has some big settings, similar to a traditional oven, so it's gonna let us set to a consistent temperature for an extended period of time. This is gonna give us much more accurate and consistent results with the heat trapped inside like a miniature car. This itself is technically classified as a convection oven, meaning it's gonna spread the hot air around and making sure all parts of our camera are cooked to perfection. And that's right, I did say cameras, plural. We're gonna need another model to compare with, right? So here we have a much more basic and cheap camera, which goes for under $100. So to properly simulate the long parking lengths of your vehicle, we're gonna be running this for a full six hours, checking in along the way. What inspired you guys to put uh, electronics inside Twister Alden? Uh, I think a, a childish ambition to see things explode. Now don't go trying this at home, cause we're professionals. I think a, a childish ambition to see things explode. So guys, let's start off by laying out the objectives with this experiment. There's three in total, and there's a couple of factors we're gonna be monitoring throughout the experiment as well. Now with goal number one, starting with both of these dash cams, we wanna make sure their operating temperature on paper is what it says it is. So for the Thinkware U3000, on paper, it says that it will go up to 60 degrees Celsius. And for this other more basic dash cam, unfortunately, we didn't actually get that on paper, but since it's had a battery inside, we suspect that it's not gonna last as long as the Thinkware U3000, but only time will tell. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this toaster up to 65 degrees Celsius, just to see where their breaking points are. Goal number two, with the Thinkware U3000, we wanna make sure that their smart parking mode actually does work. And lastly, our third and final goal is to make sure that the Thinkware U3000 is actually going to work in your guys' climate. We've had a lot of you guys ask us whether or not it works in extremely hot environments like Arizona, Texas, etc., etc., We wanna make sure that the U3000 is a good recommendation 
to handle that heat. As far as how the setup is gonna go, we've actually weaseled all the necessary cables through the bottom of the front of the toaster around the corner of the crumb tray. Here, there's gonna be enough space to get the cables in without too much heat loss. And to make sure of that, we also have a separate handy temperature logger here as well. This logger is gonna give us an insider scoop on exactly how hot the camera is as we strapped it to the U3000 in the toaster. So we'll check back in with you guys in four hours to give you an update. But while we're waiting, let's dive into some of the features and specs for both dash cams. So there are a lot of factors going on inside the tank. So let's try to explain exactly what's going on right now. The U3000, it does come packed with some fresh features from Super Night Vision 4.0, built-in radar, plus Bluetooth for an easier connection. But before all that, let's take a look at the design itself. A couple of things we'll notice is that it's got new ventilation system on the bottom of the unit. Here you can see it's got frost ventilation grill designs for better cooling. And what we'll be testing and briefly mentioned earlier is how it's got a new feature, smart parking mode. As we've seen in our previous tests, once any dash cam gets too hot, it's actually gonna stop recording as it overheats, only to go back to recording when the unit cools down. But like, isn't that the one reason you bought a dash cam in the first place, to protect your vehicle while you're away from it? So this is what smart parking mode does. It changes that, so if the temperature inside your car becomes too high, during parking mode, the U3000 is going to automatically switch to this low power mode, still recording impacts while other models refuse to. 65 degrees Celsius, it should be the real sweet spot to see if this happens in action, implying that we bake it right. Still, that's not all that the U3000 brings to the table when it comes to heat resistance. It does also come with a heat blocking film. This film, it's, it's pretty simple. It just sits between the windshield and your camera's adhesive, and it prevents the adhesive from absorbing all that heat. So guys, it's been four hours. We thought, why not take a look at the dash cams once again? We've been hearing some weird noises coming out of the toaster. So we're like, okay, I think there's something wrong with one of the two dash cams. So we're gonna go investigate and find out what happened. Uh, so, Okay, so right now inside, it's about 69.4 degrees Celsius. So it uh, seems like everything's working as is with the oven. Oh, something just happened. You guys hear that? So why don't we, uh, let's open up and let's find out. Okay, let's start off with the Thinkware U3000. So four hours later, let's see, let's take a look at this. Okay, so the record button is still flashing, which means it is definitely still recording. And same with the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi button as well. So it's yellow, like I said, because it's uh, connected to the cloud. So it doesn't seem like there's any problems there. Cable seems fine. Everything seems to be connected just fine. Now let's move on to the, oh my God, it's so hot. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at this other dash cam right here. So I think this was a dash cam that was making a little bit of noise before. Oh, yeah, you see that? So like the CLA, whoa, literally just died. <laughs> okay, well, uh, and it's back on. I think, not entirely sure what's happening. I think this dash cam is actually overheating. So it seems like the U3000 is holding strong four hours later with its uh, super capacitor. However, the other dash cam with the battery powered seems to be dead, if not just constantly restarting because the charger can't seems to hold up to the heat. Okay, we'll check back in with you guys in an hour because we got some investigating to do. We got to figure out what happened. Beyond that, let's talk batteries. So the U3000, like all Thinkware cameras, they do use a supercapacitor. So what it does is it stores energy by accumulating charges on its electrodes, offering quick energy discharge and recharge cycles. So that's where supercapacitors excel. It's in high heat environments because of their superior thermal stability and resilience compared to lithium ion batteries. That's why we keep talking about how supercapacitors for dash cams are ideal choices for hot climates because they can withstand extreme temperatures without compromising performance or safety 
ensuring reliable operation and longevity in challenging conditions. Now, as for lithium ion, that's just what's in this cheaper camera. So let's talk pros and cons. Lithium ion batteries, they do offer a high energy density and longer overall lifespan. They are sensitive to higher temperatures. If you give one of these lithium ion dash cams prolonged exposure to elevated heat, it can lead to performance degradation, reduced capacity, and safety risks. If you guys remember that controversy about the Android phone exploding, that Android phone was exploding because of some defects in their lithium ion battery. In fact, that's why we talk about supercapacitors so often. All of our dash cams use this, and it's definitely something to look out for when you're picking up your own dash cam, especially if you live in high heat environments. Okay, let's give you guys a quick update. So we did some investigating on what happened to the basic dash cam. So at around the two and a half hour mark, it looks like it actually overheated. What looks to have happened is that the cigarette lighter adapter was still working fine in feeding power to the camera, but the camera itself just stopped drawing power. So that's why it kept restarting. Now, if you go back to the Thinkware manual, it does say that smart parking mode does kick in between 55 to 65 degrees Celsius. But obviously, if you take a look at the temperature right now, we're literally at 70.3 degrees and smart parking mode still hasn't kicked in. That is a problem for us in achieving objective number two. Part of me suspects that maybe it's because the dash cam is only one channel and perhaps that diagram is specifically pertaining to two channel, the 55 to 65 degrees. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank up the heat quite a bit up to 80 degrees Celsius. And let's see and keep an eye on whether or not smart park mode does actually kick in. What we should see is that the cloud would stop working. However, the record icon is still gonna be flashing. So let's do that right now. So here's what we're gonna do as well. So. We're gonna take that U3000 and we're gonna turn it around just so that we can keep an eye as to whether or not the cloud icon stops working. So as soon as the cloud light turns off, that's when we know that well, cloud has shut off and two, smart parking mode has kicked in. But we do wanna do a special shout out to one of our followers, Jojo Mitz 82 Judging from this video, the Thinkware would withstand the Texas heat if I would leave my vehicle parked outside for eight hours with a sunshield on, right? So the answer is yes. If you're gonna be installing a dash cam in that type of heat, the U1000 is a great choice. However, we don't recommend using a sunshield or a reflector. There's a reason for this. It's because the heat trapped between the windshield and the reflector, they can accumulate and affect the temperature around the dash cam. Well, so what might happen, it's going to cause the temperature around your dash cam to rise dramatically, potentially leading to overheating. Still, for the best results, we recommend you install the new Thinkware U3000 instead. Alright guys, we're six hours in. That means our science experiment has come to a close. So now that all of our testing is said and done, let's do a recap on how our objectives went. So starting off with the U3000, we can consider this objective a success. The camera continued recording for the entire window without any issues. Now, the more basic lithium ion operated camera, on the other hand, gave out at around two and a half hours, entering into a restarting loop through its malfunctioning lithium ion battery. Moving on to objective number two. So, unfortunately, we weren't able to get Smart Parking Mode to work, which is a bit vexing considering it's one of the main reasons we set the toaster to 65 degrees, which is where Smart Parking Mode should be activating. Still, as a last try, we upped the temperature to a whopping 85 degrees Celsius for the last hour. And amazingly enough, the U3000 stayed running, though still with no smart parking mode. It got so hot that our under $100 dash cam actually gave out even more with the recording lens of the unit fully giving out. I think a, a childish ambition to see things explode. So in short, did smart parking mode work? Nope. But is the U3000 durable? Extremely. Moving on to our final objective. To this, we can say a firm yes. Not only was the U3000 able to withstand 65 degrees for the full six hours, it also had no issues to boot. In our opinion, this is mostly thanks to the supercapacitor battery inside, 
offering a solid battery option that won't be negatively impacted by the temperature, unlike the lithium-ion battery. Thinkware has done a great job with its heat ventilation through the design of the camera itself. This makes it a great option for those battling the heat down in Texas, Arizona, and everywhere else hitting record heat waves this summer. Thanks for dining with us, guys. We've included all the product links and the related Beat the Heat videos below so you can check them out. If you like what you saw, be sure to support us by hitting that like and subscribe button on your way out. You're going to find the Thinkware U3000 and all the accessories that we mentioned in this video on our website. And if you're ready to make a purchase, be sure to use exclusive YouTube code BBMC2B at checkout to take 5% off. Let us know if you'd like to see even more toaster tests in the comments. And if we get enough likes from you guys, we're going to look into conquering the cold next once things get a little chillier. Thanks for watching.